Hello friends, welcome to our show. A lot of women are facing various health problems these days and one of them is female infertility, which is a very common problem in women healthcare. Let me introduce Dr. Pradeep Mule, Senior Consultant Interventional Radiologist, practicing in New Delhi, India. Welcome to the show, Dr. Mule. So, talking about female health problems, uh, female infertility is a major health problem in females. A lot of females are uh, like not able to conceive after their marriage. So, what is uh, female infertility? Uh, when you talk about the infertility, mm-hmm. it is defined as a couple if not conceived by the unprotected sex mm-hmm. in the first one year. Okay. So, that is the infertility. And uh, the block elephant tube is the very common problems in the woman, mm-hmm. those not able to conceive. Okay. Till now, for a block elephant tube, all the microsurgery and other surgical techniques are performed. Mm-hmm. But because of the surgical things, the outcome is not really good. Okay. So, the intervention radiologist, they extended this procedure to the non-surgically to treat that. Okay, so now the non-surgical treatments are also available uh, to available treat the fallopian tube. Initially, it was like uh, a very expensive and risky procedure to open up the block fallopian tubes, but most of the people don't know about this, not aware about this. And uh, I would like uh, uh, to know by you that how does fallopian tubes help in conceiving and what are fallopian tubes? Uh, see, the fallopian tube is the very important part, organ in uh, conceiving the things, right? Mm. And uh, each uh, woman, they have the two fallopian tubes, one on the right side, one on the left, left side. side. So, the once the ovum, mm-hmm. the egg mm-hmm. that uh, produced from the ovary, mm-hmm. so that transported into the fallopian tube. Okay. And the sperm, mm-hmm. male sperm that comes from the uterine cavity into the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. There the both come and unite and then get the fertilization. So that's the place where the sperm the and the fertilization, happens. fertilization process happens. happens. Mm-hmm. There only the all the nourishment and other things to be done for a fertilized egg. Okay. And then this uh, egg is transported transported into the uterine cavity and the pregnancy continues there. Okay. So these are the fallopian tubes. Okay, so that plays a major role major in conceiving role for a woman. Yes, and, uh, exactly. Uh, talking about uh, the blockage of the fallopian tubes. What are the basic causes which cause the blockage in the fallopian tube? Uh, blockage in fallopian tube has many causes actually, hmm. but in uh, Indian setup, when you talk about the TB, tuberculosis, TB. genital TB. tuberculosis is okay. the very most common cause for a block fallopian tube. Mm-hmm. May some other causes like a pelvic inflammatory disease, any infection comes into the pelvis. Mm-hmm. May sometimes the women gone through the any previous sur- surgery also. Mm-hmm. that can cause the block fallopian tube mm-hmm. because the surgical scar, adhesion that may hamper also mm-hmm. uterine fibroid, adenomyosis mm-hmm. these are the all other causes other are all. there for a uh, block fallopian Blockage tube of fallopian. even sometimes the ectopic pregnancy happens into the fallopian tube so the women they may not able to conceive because the because of the ectopic pregnancy mm-hmm. this tube are the block Okay, so it has to be opened up to conceive for a lady, it is very yes. important. So, what are the options to open up the blocked fallopian tubes? The two options are there. Mm-hmm. One is the surgical option is there, mm-hmm. micro-surgery options are there, mm-hmm. but in micro-surgery options, the outcome is not really good. Okay. So, the other, second one is the non-surgical treatment is there, that is the fallopian tube recanulation. Okay. In fallopian tube recanulation, actually, this is a very simple and very effective technique. Hmm. Even this not need the general anesthesia and hospitalization need just the like a 4 to 5 bar only that that much is more than enough to hmm. do this procedure. Hmm. In this technique we do we take one the small speculum which is the a small instrument that go through the vagina mm-hmm. and a small thin catheter is there. Mm-hmm. The catheter we insert through the cervix into the uterine cavity mm-hmm. then we inject the some contrast. By injecting the contrast, you can visualize the uterine cavity very well. Mm-hmm. This is also known as the HSG, that is the mm-hmm. hysterosalpingography. Mm-hmm. And after the visualization of the uterine cavity, now you can understand that which one tube is blocked or another tube is blocked. By this small thin catheter, mm-hmm. our the small thin, very thin one is mm-hmm. instrument that goes inside mm-hmm. and you can open the fallopian tube. So that is the non tube Yeah, it is not painful as you are uh, no, describing it's not, that. No, it's not at all painful. Even mm-hmm. this technique is not required the local anesthesia also. Okay. Okay, as you have described the procedure of the FTR though, uh, how much is the success rate of this procedure? Uh, 
uh, success rate, the two types of the fallopian tube block is there. One is the coronal block, which is close to the uterus. Okay. When the coronal block is there, the, your success rate goes around like 90%. 90%. And uh, when you open this tube, and so around 40 to 50% of the women, they conceive in a four to five months only. That is pretty early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but those other type of the block is there, which is the distal end, which is also called as the femoral end. Mm -hmm. If that block is there, that block is difficult to open also. But mm -hmm. because that block, secondary to the some the infection, something on that, right? So that's why that kind of block is not good. So what coronal block gives the excellent result and the more chances are there to consider. Okay, and that, that is easy to that is easy to treat. Treat also. Okay, okay. So what are the advantages of this FTR over the surgical treatment? Uh, see the like uh, as a non-surgical technique, you not need to give anesthesia. Your hospital stay is very less, is the less expensive than the surgery. Even you can resume the, your all normal activity and other things just the next day only. Okay. Okay. So talking about the cost now, is it very expensive or cost effective? Is a very cost effective as compared to the surgical technique because in surgical technique you need the one or two day hospitalization that cost increases. Hmm. General anesthesia that cost is increases. Mm -hmm. Here is the you need the just the four hour hospitalization mm -hmm. and no anesthesia so your cost is come down like uh, if you compare with the surgical and non-surgical technique mm -hmm. the non-surgical technique literally that gives around one fourth cost wow that is uh, pretty That's cheaper pretty cheap. exactly and uh, dr mule what are the other non-surgical treatments you offer other non-surgical treatment in a woman healthcare like uh, fibroids fibroids uterine adenomyosis mm -hmm. varicose veins mm -hmm. Block telephone tube, what we discussed already, mm -hmm. and the pelvic congestion syndrome that is the chronic pelvic pain okay. that also we treat non surgically, and uh, back pain, those having the back pain or disc herniation. So we do the ozone therapy with the nerve block on okay. that. So these are the various non surgical treatments. Mm -hmm. But I feel that, like, a uh, good number of the women mm -hmm. in our society, they don't know about the non surgical treatment. Mm -hmm. What I feel that, like, you are not supposed to depend on the just the one answer by the your doctor or your the family doctor. Exactly. He has to explore the other options. Yes, yes, yes. Nowadays everybody that goes on the digital uh, things, right? So mm -hmm. he has to go and search that any other option is there or not. Mm -hmm. These are the like by searching and getting the new knowledge and other things, right? Mm -hmm. So you not necessarily you apply to you, right? Maybe some your close friend or something. At least you can tell them, you know. These are the some non-surgical techniques are available. Now. Yes, exactly. Now there is no need to follow a particular myth that the problem yeah. like uh, blocked fallopian tubes can be only cured by surgery only. It can be cured by non-surgical treatment. Now there is the like lot of research and other yes. things are going on. Yes, I, yes, I don't yes. blame that who tells and who not tells. Right? Mm -hmm. But the new thing comes, it's not necessary that all the people, they should know the all kind of the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So better to search. Mm -hmm. At yes. least the, what are the other options, what are the easy options are yes, there. Yes, yes. What option that fits to you and mm -hmm. then go choose for that. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, exactly. One should look always look over for some other options, other, options. other and be better options. Yes. Okay, uh, Dr. Mule, thank you very much for uh, making people know that the blocked fallopian tubes can be really opened up by the non-surgical treatment, which is very important for women to know these days. Really, thank you. Thank you very much.